All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video. Um, just uh, part one, I'm going to restore my white water. Uh, as you can see, the cabinets all faded like they normally are. Uh, the below is the Merco Rad Cows, uh, which I just got in today. You can see the difference in color. So shiny glossy finish now some people do say they complain about the, the blue this is most likely because it's 30 years old basically but this is uh, apparently the color that williams originally had it at but over time with sun and uh just age it just fades so what i'm going to do is take it to uh, a paint store and color match this blue in some lights, it almost looks purple, but it is blue. And then paint the side of the head. Right uh, here. It's the match. Um, let me see. So the coin door, for example. Let me grab that. Totally different. Look at the eagle. So there's some damage to the wood right here. So I'm gonna have to bond of that. There's some damage down here. Basically, what I do is I take the play field out. That means dis uh, disconnecting all the wires up in the head. Pull the play field out, put it on a table, uh, take the head off, bring the cabinet up to my workshop, and then sand down the whole entire cabinet. Um, usually with a heavy grit sandpaper, uh, electric sander, you can also use a heat gun to uh, help a little bit, get you know break up the glue. Help sand it a little bit better. I usually hit it with the heat gun first and then sand it off. Um, once that's done, everything's cleaned and prepped, I'll bondo it, sand that, make it as perfect as possible, and then I'll paint it uh, the blue to match the, the new rad cows. And then after that, apply them. It's kind of like applying a you know side art to your pin. Uh, tape it down with some uh, with some uh, painter's tape, and uh, pretty easy. And apply that. So I'm gonna the coin door is pretty nice already. I have a bunch of new uh, parts to put in. Uh, I have to take the topper off, clean that up all real good. Here's the um, before and after. You can just tell the, the coloring differences. So much cleaner. I mean, I've got so much just over the years. These, I get, these machines were just meant to make money and throw away, basically. So they never took care of them. If you find like a nice one, like this Congo is a really nice cabinet. They usually still have blemishes at the head because they just threw these things around. But <clears throat> sometimes you get lucky, you don't have any fade. And then sometimes you got to redo it or just enjoy it. And it doesn't matter to you. But for me, this was not horrible, but it is faded. And this is, for example the rad cows on indiana jones i restored how nice and shiny and new you do have to take a dremel and drill out the rad cows like for example here you have to drill out those two bolts and the bolts up there uh those, these have all been painted so it's it's a lot of work but if you love the game, it's worth it. I think Whitewater's a keeper. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one now. And then probably second, I'm going to do Dracula. 
uh, with rag towels. I have to still shop up the uh, shop out the uh, play field, but whitewater is probably 80% done. I just have to fix a few things, but other than that, and for some reason my speaker grill is off center. See, compared to that, so I got to restaple that up to fix that. I don't know if that's something Williams did back in the day and someone was drunk or what, but. Anyway, I know some people hate rad cows. Personally, I find them a lot easier to apply than the uh, decals. And I've bought decals for Whitewater, actually, and they were not printed clearly. It was almost like a scan. I know there's probably better ones out there. I think I paid 250 for the decals, and they were totally garbage. Uh, so I got rid of those, and... Uh, this is actually licensed. The biggest thing is it's licensed. So uh, it's the actual official Williams scans that Mirko got to do it. So I know some people hate rad cows, but I don't know. I love them. They're shiny, new. It really pops. I mean, Jersey Jack's using them. They can't be that bad. So anyway, like, subscribe, uh, comment. I'm going to do another maybe couple videos as I progress on this thing. Uh, I did an Indiana Jones uh, restore videos. If you want to check out my past videos, you can see those. That was a disaster to restore. Uh, just everything had to be replaced. It was uh, heavily worn, but now it's all nice. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy. Thank you.